Hello and welcome. This is Sue Shields with My Florida Dreams Mobile Home Sales and Rentals. Today is an exciting day here at My Florida Dreams as Pete and I have sold the southern portion of the business south of Sarasota to Dan and Lori Clark. Lori's joining me today. Dan's out selling. So welcome, Lori. Thanks so much, Sue. I am thrilled to be here today. Dan has been a significant contributor to the growth and the success of My Florida Dreams. So we feel that they're the perfect fit to carry on for us in the South portion of the business. Lori, tell me a little bit about Dan's experience. So as you just said, Dan has been an integral part of growing the Southern portion of My Florida Dreams, and he's had a great time doing it. Dan absolutely loves people. He loves being a problem solver and finding ways to say yes. And he has found great success in doing that in Bay Indies and a few other parks he's lived in. Prior to working for Pete and Sue from My Florida Dreams, he had worked in the car business at home in Maine for over 25 years as a salesperson, then a sales manager and a general manager of both new and used car sales. We lived in Florida from 2003 to 2008. And during that time, he actually sold mobile homes in Bay Indies for a few years, and then he ventured out and became an independent contractor for a real estate company. We actually got our own license, and we were actually um, real estate property managers for a short time. We were renting properties for folks that lived away and oversaw that process. So this is certainly not foreign for him or for me. So we're really excited to be able to partner with Pete and Sue and carry on what they've started. And how about you? Ah, I worked in the car business at home in Maine as well for a while. I'm the epitome of that, you know, used car sales person that nobody likes. But my idea of used car sales was finding a person's need, building rapport and meeting their need. And that's exactly what I did for 11 years and considered myself to have been very successful in doing it. Uh, so worked in the car business for several years, but in my most recent history, it's been working in the senior living market. And I feel that what I've done for the last 10 years is really going to cross over very well into this demographic and working with folks who are looking to either buy or sell in our retirement communities. So tell me why you and Dan decided to continue with the My Florida Dreams name rather than start your own business with a new name. You know, we looked at both things, Sue, and we really made the determination that we wanted to carry on the reputation that you and Pete had started several years ago and just to be able to continue it. We certainly didn't want to be a competition, but we really wanted to carry on exactly what you all had done. The reputation that's already there and founded with My Florida Dreams is exactly what our mindset is and what our business model would be. We want to do things right. We want to do things in a way that we would want to be treated. And it was a very easy decision for us to to carry on this name. Well, thank you. And I know we both appreciate it. I know you've got some plans that will enhance the already established business. Could you tell us a little bit about these plans? Because they kind of deviate a little from what we do. Sure. Um, as I just said, the last 10 years I've worked in senior living, Dan and I were living managers for uh, a company that we managed over 55 communities, independent living. So we lived on site. And when we first started this, we really could see ourselves helping, you know, maybe a widowed woman whose husband died and she had to sell her home. And to us, it was almost like a mission to to get that person to be comfortable moving into one of our communities. And then I branched out and got my certification to become, become an administrator for an assisted living facility. So everything we've done has always been geared towards making a living while making a difference. And we feel we can carry on that mindset by partnering with maybe some of the local independent communities, maybe some of the local assisted living facilities that as our demographic begins to age and this woman who has been able to live successfully in Bay Indies or any of our other retirement communities all of a sudden need a little bit more help. We want to partner with some of those independent communities or the assisted living communities so that we can recommend if if we know a facility's reputation, then we're not going to hesitate to say, hey, we know folks that work at ABC Assisted Living. Why don't you go on and talk to their leasing coordinator? And on the other hand, we want to be able to partner with them Let's say somebody walks into an assisted living facility because mom had a fall and she broke her hip and she can't live in her mobile home anymore. I want 
those folks at those assisted living facilities or those independent communities to know that they can refer us to partner with that family to sell that person's mobile home in one of our communities, um, Sarasota South, and be able to help get that person in the right living environment that they need to to meet their needs. Again, making a living while making a difference. We want to be that trusted advisor to be able to partner with those facilities or even recommending insurance companies or recommending handymen to do some of the work for them. We're going to be their neighbors, so we want to make sure that we've done them right. That is terrific. I am so glad to hear that our company is going to expand. (laughs) We're really excited. We really are. We want to branch out. We want to maybe look at avenues that haven't been looked at before. Uh, Because of my experience in the assisted living um, venue, and then Sue, one of our salespeople that works with us down in the Southern region, actually is a dietitian, and she's very familiar with many of the assisted living facilities in the Venice area. Her mom is actually living in one now. And we've actually talked about, you know, maybe going into some of the communities and talking to them about the importance of nutrition and socialization and really partnering. We, we want to be able to help folks make that right decision. Yes, absolutely. And we want to be with them beyond just the sale of their home. We want to be the people who help you assimilate to your new environment. Correct. Correct. Whether it's going out or coming in, we always want it to be pleasant. Absolutely. As Dan will tell people when he's in the process of selling them, and to us, it's really not a sales transaction. It's it's partnering with them and it's helping to find the right fit. We're going to see you at the pool. We're going to see you at the functions, at the community. We may be at a concert together um, or at a golf cart parade or something. We certainly don't want to think, oh, goodness, we can't look at that person because we did them wrong. That That's not our mindset. We want to know that it's not going to be an embarrassment to run into you someplace. We want to do you right. And that concludes our sale and why we did it. <laughs> exactly. So thanks for listening. This is Sue Shields with My Florida Dreams, and we'll see you again in two weeks. Thanks. Have a great day.